Steve, you came all the way from? San Francisco. Amazing. Why? What's uh, so important about well, this rally? I think this is an historic rally. I mean, it's the largest labor demonstration uh, in decades. And some working people are here to protest the attacks that they're facing. I don't think that the leadership of the unions have a solution, but at least they've organized to get workers to this rally. And I think it's important that working people rally in this country and start organizing. You heard Trumpka's speech? Part of it, yeah. What would you think? I think it's a lie. He talks about one nation and unity. There are two nations in the United States. There's, there's, there's one nation and two classes, rather. Mm -hmm. You have two classes, and you have a class struggle in this country. And Obama uh, is supporting the capitalist class. And the position of Trumpka and the AFL-CIO is that we've got to support Obama. We have to support the Democrats and the capitalist class and get better capitalists in. Is that what he said up there, support Obama? We have to support the politicians. We have to vote in November. And we have to vote for these Democratic politicians, and they'll save us. And the unions in the last election cycle spent $500 million on the Democratic Party. What have they got to show for it? The unions don't say, that, no, say that number again? $500 million was spent by the unions in the United States to support Obama and the Democrats. And the Democrats have betrayed them. EFCA, which they supported, fell by the wayside. Uh, Obama is supporting more free trade agreements with Korea. Uh, Obama is, uh, he, he threw a pittance of $4 billion to privatize education on this race to the top, and he's got $80 billion for Afghanistan. So it shows you where his priorities are and the priorities of the Democrats and Republicans together. Talk about the labor situation on the West Coast. Well, the unions are under attack there, and there's a budget crisis. The Democrats helped ship taxation from the corporations to the homeowners. As a result, you had Proposition 13. And when, talking, when you say the Democrats, you mean in the Democrat state, legis yeah, the state, state legislature. legislature? And as a result of which, you had Proposition 13, which requires a two-thirds vote to get any kind of taxes, new taxes passed. So there's a $20 billion deficit. There are furloughs of state workers. There's a massive attack on public workers, privatization. And the union leadership have been incapable of confronting this and politically educating the working people about these attacks. They're hoping that Jerry Brown solves their problem like Obama would solve their problem. It's not to be. And uh, we have a committee called Unite, uh, uh, it's called uh, Public Workers for United Public, United Public Workers for Action, UPWA.info, to unite all public workers, teachers and public workers. And we're supporting the idea of a statewide action. There are a million and a half public workers in California to shut down the state. The public workers in this country are under massive attack. It's the last strong unionized force in the United States. And the capitalists, including Obama, want to destroy public workers. Are there any unions, like the Longshoremen, it was always a more militant union, or are any unions taking the lead on fight well, back? The ILWU has had some uh, work stoppages from me, Abu Jabal. They had a work stoppage against the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. They're also probably going to have a work stoppage uh, to protest the murder of Oscar Grant by the police, stopping killer cops on October 23rd. So they have, are an activist union, and but the, they, one of the reasons they're an activist Democratic union is they were a left union that wasn't destroyed during the witch hunts. In the 40s and 50s, most militant unions were wiped out. Communist militants were kicked out of unions. So basically, you have pro corporateers in charge of our unions. And that is, they're unable to fight because they can't challenge ideologically and politically this capitalist offensive. Did you get down to any of the tables? There's a, there were uh, contingents, peace contingents, and they had their own separate rallies and speakers and so on. No, I came in late on a bus from the Bronx uh -huh. on the TWU, so I wasn't able to see that. But, I mean, I think that it's important that the anti-war movement, I don't know if they've had an anti-war speaker here, but if they didn't, it's a crime because the money that should be going for health care, for education, is going to war. And I don't really think that the union leadership want to take on Obama on the war in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. It's a criminal war. I mean, we're bombing with drones, bombing people all over the world. They wonder, why do they hate us? Why do people hate us? And we're bombing people all over the world. So I think the biggest terrorist is the terrorist in the White House and, the, and this administration and the previous administration who are spending billions on war to terrorize the world. Were you able to get into conversations with TWU folks? Yes, I talked to them, and they're under attack. There have been layoffs. Uh, the union has passed a resolution to support members who have laid off to get their health care. But uh, there's a political onslaught, and there's an internal crisis in the unions as well. I mean, the unions are fighting internally, SEIU, with, with other unions. I interviewed some Unite HER workers from Pittsburgh, and they're under attack uh, by SEIU. So there's an internal crisis, and the political problem is that the unions do not have a political strategy. They also do not have a media strategy. There needs to be a labor channel in the United States, 24-hour labor channel with programs. I mean, this should have been broadcast live with interviews of workers all over the country to make this a national event of working people. Last question. You're working on the Labor Channel, or 
Huh? Yes, we've. I'm with a group for, uh, that was called UpNet, Union Producers and Programmers Network. We fought for a labor channel at the AFL-CIO, and we're still pushing on that. So to, for the unions to have their own channel and have regular programming on labor history, labor education on that channel from all the different unions. And that would be very important to break this ideological barrage that working people face, including privatization of education, charter schools, which Obama and Duncan are supporting. There's a massive ideological political attack on public workers and on public education, public services, and that has to be answered politically. Thank you very much. Thank you.